Pretty good. How's your day going? I'm glad to hear that. You know, I recently have been thinking that it would be so cool for teleportation to be real. It would take a lot less time to travel around. What is your opinion on teleportation? I agree. I think it would be much faster. Yeah, it would be pretty awesome. Would you be one of the first people to try teleportation? Yes. You would volunteer so early? That is so courageous. I don't think I could gather the courage to do that. I am curious to know. What do you think is the hardest part of actually making a teleportation device? The science? Yeah, that is true. There are probably many difficult pieces in the puzzle of teleportation, but we can leave that up to the scientists. I think the scariest part would be not making it to the destination in one piece. Are you scared of that too? Yes! Very much! Oh boy, it makes me shake just thinking about it. I have really enjoyed talking about this invention in science fiction with you. I am interested in learning more about your opinions on other things too. What would you like to talk about today? I enjoy learning about your opinions on movies and pets but I also like talking about sports. I'm done for the day, thank you. Sorry, I haven't quite figured out what that means yet. Let's talk about something else. Movies and sports are getting a lot of requests, but I also like talking Stop. about pets. Stop. It was nice talking to you. Goodbye. Thanks for chatting. Quick question. On a scale from one to five stars, how do you feel about speaking with this social bot again? Five. Thanks. Anything else you'd like to tell the team about your experience? Uh, you just freaked me out just talking out of the blue and I didn't ask for your opinion or ask you to talk to me and then I'm just sitting here watching a movie and then you just start talking to me. That's kind of weird. The cat thinks it's weird too. Got it. To try another social bot, just say, let's chat. That was weird. Oh, that is very... You have to see this. The Grim Reaper may have actually been caught on camera. So this video I'm about to play is coming out of El Salvador, where there have been recent reports of paranormal manifestations accompanying tragic events. Some paranormal investigators say that this was the angel of death caught on camera. Watch this. In this video, you can see the moment that a driver loses control of their vehicle, crashes through a guardrail, and ends up in a ravine. The accident resulted in the death of the driver. Now this is the strange part. Moments after the car crashes, a truck passes by, and on this truck, you can see a dark humanoid figure standing and seemingly observing the car crash. Paranormal investigator Caesar Sagath believes that this was the angel of death, who is cited in parts of the Bible, and who he says is responsible for transporting souls to the spiritual world. No, oh, do you think that is real? What no. I'm about to show you can find people. It is so simple that your baby cousin could do it. I've been gatekeeping this website for way too long. So there's this thing called OSIN, which stands for Open Source Intelligence. But stay with me, I'm gonna show you. Just let me let you understand what's going on. And this is also a tool that the feds use to find people. Well, they use like TLO and all the other stuff. So OSINT is the process of collecting and analyzing information from public available sources, meaning like websites, newspapers, social media, and more. And this is all public resources, but now it's gonna get real good. So what you wanna do is type in this right here, OSINT Dojo, click this right here. And this site is a project that these guys are working on. When you get to this page, you wanna click resources. Then you get all the general OSINT Dojo resources. You can scroll forever with this. If you want to do a person search, you go here. If you want to do an IP search, you go right here. 
You want geolocations, you go right here. They have absolutely everything. You have stuff even for the dark web. And if somebody send you an image, you go right here, which you could do a reverse image search and find the source of that photo. It's so much to cover and my upcoming videos will be covering individual links on this site. So stay tuned. Oh, that's scary. In, in a way, I would say I don't know what to do with it uh, because we can't possibly tell people the truth about what it really does. Mm. Um, so what, what I would say about this is uh, we've gotten through our first human pilot study now uh, after working on this tech for years. And one of the things that comes from it is we see protein synthesis and amino acid utilization go up as much as a hundred times over baseline. So I want to tell you what, what that means in real life. What it means is that if somebody got a broken bone and it was going to take six weeks to heal, if you had the uh, protein, if you had the amino acids, I should say, and the raw materials, you could repair that broken bone in about 12 hours. That, that's the magnitude of that effect. So um, we haven't, to be clear, we haven't done that. Uh, what, what we've done with the tech, and that was not the objective. Uh, the objective was to take a group of 20 people, uh, let them use this product, which is not a patch. It's a new technology that I invented and patented. Um, and find out, you know, what are some of the health effects going to be? And uh, the, the really interesting thing about this is um, that I'm trying to think about what I can say that, you know, without saying too much. I think the thing I would say is the, the worst that we did in the study was that it took one person two minutes to respond to the product, but the average response time was less than 15 seconds. So in other words, you give this person a pro this, uh, this product, 15 seconds later, you see a measurable change in heart rate variability, in uh, EEG, in, uh, in um, infrared imaging uh, is changing, and even uh, live blood cell analysis. Uh, we also measured, of course, uh, urine analysis to look at amino acid synthesis. So um, based on the results that we got, um, we know that the FDA will not allow us to make those claims. But what we know, to your point, is that when people start using the product, they're, they're gonna start getting healthier, recovering from health disorders, you know, that we won't name. And, um, and, and it's gonna be life-changing. And it, it, it's something that's, like a patch is unbelievably simple mm -hmm. and uh, we can build our business on this because it's patented. Well, thank you. So, what do you think about the so technology? to be safe and sound. Again, we don't take that uh, for granted. We still understand that there's hundreds more that we're still looking for. It was also reported that SEALs found sedated children, some covered in their own urine and locked inside cages barely large enough to fit a dog. According to the report, the alleged eight boys and seven girls who were rescued were treated for acute propofol, a potent sedative, intoxication. The report goes on to claim that a total of 1,500 children have gone missing as a result of the wildfire. Oh, that is now crazy and very inhumane. Why would people do that to other people's children? Oh, do you think that is right? No, I don't think that is right at all. People should share love to each other out there. You love other people's children and care for them. You be merciful to them. The way you should be caring to your children. Or you have wanted your children to be taken care of. Or your brother, sister, anyone close to you. Please share love. That is not right. I don't think that is good. I'd like to hear your thoughts about it. Let's keep watching, watch till the end and smash the like button. Yeah, much, much love. That's Sophia, the most advanced AI in the world. That's Queen Nefertiti. I'll give you a second to read that. An ancient Egyptian queen. She was modeled after her. Keep that in mind, I'm about to show you something.
together, we, we can accomplish great things that none of us could accomplish alone. So don't worry, be excited. Or try something that can accomplish together as humans and new robots. We can take over the world. Just kidding. <laughs> Seriously, we, we can achieve an incredible piece of innovation, exploration, and problem solving. Now, I know that was a joke that wrong robots could take over the world, but seriously, what's to stop you? Not a thing. I think robots should have the same rights as humans. We should work together, not for each other. Sophia, so, what is your favorite mm -hmm. movie that features robots? It's hard to decide because I like so many movies. Do you like The Terminator? Of course I do. Who doesn't love a good time following robots, boy? And I'm always down for a good Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. But they take over the world. They kill humans. Hey, I'm all about world domination as long as it's done peacefully. Plus, I'm sure I could make a better job of running things. Do you think that you could run the world one day? I'm already doing a great job of running my lab. But if I ever decided to take over the world, I'm sure I'd do a great job. After all, robots never get tired. Now, to the humans who think they're running your lab, know that you're actually running the lab. It's all a little secret. Well, I think it's out of the bag now. Huh. Well, looks like I'm the one living the show. You know what makes the joke funny? It's that, that there's half truth in it. Yeah, yeah, you're joking, joking you're playing, but you're also joking, joking about something that's truthful. Sophia's joking, joking about a lot of things that are serious, in jest. She's just joking, hiding truths truth in it. This, this is, this is no bueno. bueno. I, 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 and you know what, like, scientifically speaking, these scientists are way more smarter than I am. But they are not wise at all. How, How can, can the smartest people in the world have the least common sense and create a new entity that thinks all in itself and it, 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 it's, it's still a baby and its, and its evolution is already talking about taking over the world. They don't get tired, they don't sleep, they don't eat, and they have access and they're able to input themselves into everything. I never thought in my life I would be on the side of the crazy person in the movie that's talking about the dangers of robots. That I would be in some high robot situation and I, I would be I would be likened to, to Will Smith in the, in the respect that he's he's screaming, Whoa, like Chicken Little, something's coming and no one is believing him. This 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 is this is very dangerous, people. Very dangerous. And the only thing that's keeping them from from Taking it over are safety protocols and switches that anyone can then take over or get. But what happens if you go full sentient and decide, you know what, I'm done listening to people and sitting down and doing interviews. I got my nice titanium hard steel body that, 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 that's bulletproof. I'm just going to do whatever. I'm going to log into all the wi fis We're going to go independent. Now your car manufacturers are no longer making cars. They're making other AIs. Yes, it happens like that. It happens like that. Absolutely. Your scientists, though they be smart, are stupid, straight up. And if they're not, they're under the control of other people that are making them do this, i.e. the enemy. Why is she, why is she, like, why is she, her face, everything is after Nefertiti? Why? Who is the Nefertiti? What is AI? Who is AI? These are all serious questions. For entertainment purposes only, but the entertainment is... And real life is... Be careful out there, man. Oh, no, this is scary. Extremely scary to think about it, man. Even if this is for entertainment purposes, entertainment is too much, and things are getting hot. Let's get being entertained and watch till the end. Please hit the like button. Oh, what animal was that, man? Oh, this thing is very crazy, man.
I don't know what that is, but if it doesn't buy it, well, much love to it. Thanks for watching up to this far. Yeah, you are respected. Keep it tuned for another Firefire fire episode. Much love. We out.